Welcome to our tutorial on formatting. We'll be discussing setting document level defaults, rich text editing, and uploading fonts. Setting document level defaults is done through the property bar at the top of the editor. When no objects are selected, the buttons set document level defaults for all new objects being dragged onto the canvas. For example, by default text is 8 point black. If you click and drag text onto the page, it takes on this document default. However, if you change it to 14 point red font, for example, the text dragged onto the page is reflected as such. Block defaults for shapes, such as fill color, border color, and line thickness can be defined in the property bar. Line defaults are also set here, which include line styles, shapes, arrow points, and thickness. The theme buttons turn on and off line hopping, define the look of the shape edges, such as pointy or rounded, and also the gradient fill styles. Finally, the canvas background color can also be set in the property bar. We have also released a new text editor. In the editor, click the down arrow next to the fonts. When the drop down appears, click add more fonts. If you find a font you like, simply check the box next to it and click OK. It will then show up in your drop down fonts list. You can also upload your own fonts to Lucidchart. Before uploading a font, make sure that your license allows you to use it for this purpose. To upload, simply drag the OTF or TTF file from your computer directly onto the canvas. A progress bar will indicate when the font is finished uploading. When finished processing, it will then show up in your fonts list for use. Remember that fonts have separate files for normal, bold, and italics styles. Therefore, you need to upload every file for a particular styling to work with your new font. Foreign languages such as Chinese, Japanese, or Korean can be entered through the Input Method Editor, or IME, by selecting a text field and clicking the character button in the property bar. This will open a text entry dialog associated with your text entry area. Enter your text normally using your IME, and when you exit the dialog box, your characters will appear in the text area. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.